Six days ago from today, actor James Best passed away. He was most famous for his role in the TV show Dukes of Hazard as Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane. And that was one of my favorite TV shows growing up as a young kid, so I just wanted to, to make this tribute video to show all the funny moments he had on the show. So enjoy, and of course, thanks Roscoe. Get, get, get that out, get that out, get that out, get that out, get, oh there's a dip, oh we'll see if we fly. <laughs> You lost your marbles? Uh, uh, no, I didn't lose my marbles. I'll tell you what I lost. I lost my diary. Your diary? Yeah, my a little diary? Red, my little red diary. You keep a diary? Yeah, well, it's just a, a little diary. What kind of diary? The, the usual diary, the diary that you, you write everything in. Everything? What kind of everything? Did I say everything? You did. Oh, well, I didn't mean everything, everything. I meant just little everything's about uh, this and that. This and that? Mm -hmm. Well, what kind of this and that? Did I say this and that? You did. Well, I didn't mean just this and that. I meant about me and uh, everybody. Everybody? Everybody? What? Who everybody? Well, did I say everybody? Oh, let's not go all that again. Let me get it straight, knucklehead. It's me you're writing about in that diary, isn't it? Well, naturally, you're my little fat buddy, and I just, I wrote in there a little. A little. <laughs> Oh, boss, I'm innocent. It was the Duke boys, that and that Rowey gang. Now, hand over your gun, Mr. Coltrane. But I thought I was your buddy, remember? Oh, I remember. Hand over your gun, buddy. Everybody's innocent until they're proven guilty. I want a trial. A trial? Yeah. All right, you want a trial, you yeah. got it. Clean a swear in the witness. Raise right hand. You swear to tell the truth, nothing but the truth, so you got I do. He does. Come to order, this court is now in session. The first witness is the defendant, Mr. Roscoe P. Coltrane. Mr. Coltrane, where did we find the stolen jewels? Well, in my car... Guilty! Case closed. Uh, listen, I want to take this to a higher court. Then get yourself a ladder. Now, hand over your gun. I have the right to remain silent. Then shut up and hand over your gun. Oh, All right. Cletus! Sir? Step forward. I hereby appoint you the new sheriff of Hazard County. Huh? Buzzers on a buzz saw. And your first job is going to help me escort these jewels. Here they come. Come into my parlor, said the spider to the bee. <laughs> sheriff, I think that's supposed to be a fly. <laughs> Gunshot wound. How come you're still standing? All right. Which one of you cutthroats done shot the boss in the gizzard, huh? Yeah, Roscoe, will what? you hush what? up, you doodoo? -doo? What? That's just paint. What? See? Hey, that's just paint. Yeah. Ooh, I'm just so happy, little fat buddy. <laughs> you ain't dead. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without you. I do. What? You'd give yourself a raise. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, what? what about them Duke boys and that girl? Bad news, bad news. I know it. Well, listen, boss, I went out there at the Duke Farm, and they weren't there. In, in fact, they weren't anywhere I looked. Well, have you tried any place you haven't looked? No. Well, why don't you try? Oh, Sheriff. I mean, Roscoe. I never wanted to be Sheriff like this. Oh, it's, uh, it's all right, Cletus. You'll make a fine Sheriff. I hope so. I'd be much obliged if I could ask your advice from time to time. Anytime you want. In fact, I got two pieces of advice for you right now. One, never ask for a raise. And two, be proud of your job. Yes, sir. Well, Flash, I guess we're civilians again. I guess we'll have to go 
get those dukes and bring them back and make them talk and prove that we're innocent. Let's just go get those dukes. Dorothy and I were getting ready to go down to Florida on a little vacation, and uh, and uh, and uh, my agent called and said, "I want to send you over on a on a series." And I said, "A series?" And it says, "Called Dukes of Hazard." I said, "I don't want to do a gang thing. I really don't." And they said, "No, no, no, no. This is a good old boy thing, and they're going to shoot it in Conyers, Georgia." Well, I had produced a picture for Burt Reynolds called Gator, and Burt and I did the rewrites on it, and we shot it. It made money. And they said, I said, you're going to shoot it in Conor, Georgia? The fishing's good. The people are nice. And they're going to shoot the whole series in? And they said, yeah. I said, I'm going to go over and see about that. So I go over there, and here is the producer and the director and the writers and the Inquisition. They're sitting there in a bunch of chairs, and they had one chair sitting out in front. And I sat down on that, and they said, I said, now, what, what is this? And it's a sheriff. And I said, how do you want me to play him? And they said, well, we would like for him to be amusing and funny and I said well I played a lot of heavies but I did I starred with Jerry Lewis in a movie called Three on a Couch I said I can do comedy I did that in summer stock so I thought what am I going to do because I do not want to embarrass the sheriffs in this world because I have too much respect for the fire department and, and the sheriffs and, and, and the and military so I said I'll play him like a 12 year old who likes hot pursuit so what I did when I said let me read the script I read the script and when I'm reading it, I did what I used to, to do with my little girls when they were little, and I'd see chasing them, and I'd go, Could you do, Woody? Get you, you little rascal. Well, they fell off their chair, and they signed me. I was the first one they put under contract. I finally got a dog on the show, though. You know, I went to the dog pound and got Flash and put her on the show. They didn't give me a girl on the show. And people were beginning to wonder. You know, and so I said, I didn't realize that, <laughs> no, no, I'm, but I'm being naughty. But anyway, I said, give me a dog, you know, it'll make some different type of scripts and scripts are so much alike. And so they didn't want to do it at first. And I said, well, I'll quit. I want a dog. So I, we, we went to the dog pound, got a flash. She was seven years old. She lived to be 14, became one of the biggest stars on the show.